Tonight we're going to talk about transcendentalism. Transcendentalism is an American philosophy that allows our brain to change and adapt without restrictions in order to build new neural connections as needed. The transcendental experience is beyond the mind and comes through consciousness, not through the senses or rational thinking. The people who get the transcendental experience know what is right, so abandon the pathways that drag them down. These individuals are not confined with dogma, wasting their time living someone else's life and experience the results of other people's thinking and opinions. They don't let the commotion of others block their inner voice, so they follow their own intuitions and path to bliss. Ralph Waldo Emerson, who started and led the Transcendentalist uh, movement, was a Unitarian minister, essayist, poet, and philosopher. He is recognized as America's first intellectual that believed we can transcend beyond our minds, senses, and the physical world to a deeper spiritual experience. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Transcendentalism was an experiment in individualism and self-reliance as they transcended the limits of religion, government, and social institutions to reach a spiritual high. The transcendental state sets our mind free as we realize our body and mind can be hurt or damaged, but the spirit can't be touched. Our finite mind turns infinite when coming to the awareness that we are consciousness and not our body or mind. The limitations, the restraints, and hindrances of the mind disappear in consciousness, like throwing a bowl of the dirtiest, grimy, and filthy water into the ocean, and it turns transparent, crystal clear, like glass. Buddha said, If you speak or act with a pure mind, happiness follows like a shadow. Within, a, within us is the pure consciousness of our soul. So when we are silent, we transcend our thoughts and mind to experience pure awareness, which is relaxing in observation. The transcendental lang language of music can bring us to that state, but so can art, sports, philosophy, and science. In this state of wonder, we are clear and boundless as we lose our tension stress, and troubles, as everything is washed away in pure awareness. This is when happiness radiates from us like the sweet smell of a rose, as we expand our consciousness and open up to our potential. We are not living in the past, dreaming of the future, but just relaxing in the present moment, accepting reality as it is. Mindfulness is the best cure for what ails us, because we don't get caught up in our thoughts, worries, or trying to be a different person, but just loving the situation and who we are in the present. Ramana Maharishi says, when there are thoughts, it is a distraction. When there are no thoughts, it is meditation. In meditation, healing just happens, because we are calm, alert, and delighted. So all the darkness in our life is eliminated because we are opening, relaxing, and not deciding. We become a phoenix rising from the ashes, reborn with the capacity to respond with a clear mind to our problems and difficulties. The only way to get freedom is for us to think for ourselves. Therefore, transcendentalism introduces individualism. No one is exactly like us because their reality is different. So we have to earn our integrity, our happiness, our bliss, and stop going around asking others to give it to us because they will and we lose our freedom. We need to become conscious to find what is natural and real for our lives as it is the birth of our true self to realize that the source of our bliss is within us. Happiness is not in objects or in conforming to a tribe, but in our individual journey called life, 
where we learn to love. Love is a state of being where we learn to be individuals together in unity, which takes tolerance to enjoy our differences and expand our love. Being an individual teaches us about life in depth, where we experience that the universe and all individuals are one consciousness. This unity with variety is the essence of love, the central part of all religions that gives us forgiveness, tolerance, and compassion. We are one body that has different parts with different functions that work together in unity. So transcendentalism bestows this unity by transcending the body and mind to one consciousness, where life becomes a spiritual experience of love. Mahatma Gandhi said, God has no religion. He also said, the essence of all religions is one. Only the approaches are different. Thank you.